Hi, today we're going to talk about Midori letter paper. Right, today we're going to talk about uh, some Midor Midori letter paper. I, I remember previously we have talked about the Traveler's Notebook insert. It, it gives your ink quite a bit of permanence, more than I would usually expect. A, a while ago I was walking around random bookstores and I happened upon this lovely product. It was not cheap as with many Midori things, but never mind. For the sake of my letter writing habit, I shall now dissect this. Oh no. I'm gonna open this. Am I cutting anything? <laughs> I'm not cutting anything. Hold on. I am cutting invisible plastic. Ugh. This is not gonna be the prettiest unboxing ever. This is how you unpack. Like an excited child with a Christmas present. I believe at the price I got this, this is technically speaking four times more expensive than my Tomo River on a, on a per sheet basis, but it looked really pretty. It, it called itself Mulberry or was it Blueberry? It, it's got this very nice pattern. Okay, I can appreciate this. This is the inside. Front side, lining, uh, you can see some of the patterning. And it turns out, as I've just discovered, the back is patterned. This means it's one side only. Expensive and one sided only. This is going to be brilliant. Let me check this. 24 sheets. 24 sheets for around five and a half US dollars. Today I have my lovely Franklin Crystal Thumb 27, medium metallic. I have my behemoth nib palette parallel 3.8 and and i have a sailor clear candy this is obviously one of the low-end models it's a stainless steel mf nib and it is as if let's say for instance some luxury brand had decided to monogram their own fountain pen and like that being said this is a little bit more pricey than the 78G, but it writes lovely. But this isn't a review about this pen, I'm, I'm just here to write. We will begin with the thickest pen. It's a little bit rough, I think. Mid. Dory. I believe this paper is washi. Granted, there's probably lots of types of washi because I've tried other washi that wasn't so fountain pen friendly. Do I have I spelled this correctly? I am prone to misspelling when not concentrating. This is Midori. 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 Letter. Paper. It's not like they promised that this would be fountain pen friendly. Let's take a look at how it has accepted my two pens. Uh, the 3.8 is usually my wettest pen. The thing is a little bit rough. The back is it absolutely no bleed through, no feathering. It works well with fountain pens. I must reiterate, this is feeling a little bit rough. But let me try something else. This is my Sailor Clear Candy. Uh, I don't really feel the roughness as much in this pen. It feels smooth to my fingers, but, but when I write on it, it's a little bit of a bumpy ride and, and it's got nothing to do with the pens because I know this pen is really smooth and that well, all, pen, all, all my pens are usually really smooth. I'm feeling a little bit of feedback. Let's do something seasonal.
I call this the happy. I call the hedgehog. Paper. It's a smooth, bumpy surface. It finger alone, it, it feels really smooth, sort of like rodeo. But but when you actually write on it with nib, you, you feel it. It reminds me of ivory paper. I think that's what it is. But ivory paper has a little bit more friction. This is just when you write on it, you feel some smooth bumpiness, as if that makes sense. But that's how I feel it through my pen. As you can see, it doesn't feather, even under extreme conditions. You can draw hedgehogs on it, that's a benefit. What really appealed to me was that this is very, very pretty. Not my writing, but the back. This is really pretty. It's a soft, sort of nature, fruity, leafy sort of theme that somehow appeals to me. Maybe I'm a romantic, but there we go. Midori leather paper, 24 sheets. No feathering, no bleed through. Not that you would care about bleed through since it's one sided only. I, don't, I suppose maybe you might want to write on the other side, but it's not lined. It's only lined one side, counter pen friendly, very pretty. This gets its own category of strange, strange smoothness. I like it. I've just wasted one sheet. There goes like a few Tomer River paper sheets worth of, 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 of paper, but it was a pleasant surprise. If you see this, Sure, give it a whirl. It, it's, it's only 24 sheets, you, you run out and then you go back to whatever paper you used before. So recently, um, two weeks ago, when I opened up my pen wrap upon arriving home, I discovered that the metal collar for my VAC 700 cap, smoky cap, had just come off. This metal bit had totally just detached itself from the cap along with the thread inside it. Maybe there was some mechanical uh, material failure, but I took a photo, sent it off to uh, Twisby, and within a day or two, he responded and asked for my address, and maybe within two working days afterwards, I received a replacement cap in the mail, free of charge. I think this incident of, of, of awesome customer service has rather pushed me towards just getting the new rose gold 580 just to say thank you. So there you go. Twisby, great customer service for me anyway.